how to stand out hello ladies thanks for tuning in before we start please like and subscribe and don't forget that you can still join my group coaching program and by the way i have great news from no one i'm gonna make win one of you a book my book actually so how to bag a high caliber man so this is the book that i wrote where i teach you my blueprint like i teach you all the steps and i guide you for the next 12 weeks so that you know or to get commitment with him you have the full strategy for the next 12 weeks this is how you're gonna get commitment so this is for women who don't struggle at all with anxious attachment even with men that they really like but for women who are a bit clueless or who are into into dating strategies alone and don't need you know personalized advice this is what you get when you when you work with me um in a group coaching so yeah i'm gonna send one of you a copy of my book but it's only for the us at least for now so if you are in the us leave a comment Every week, I'm going to choose the best comment. You'll be able to choose if you want the PDF version or if you want the hard copy. How to stand out when you meet a guy that you really like. So, you need to know that when we are attracted by someone, it's never just physical, okay? It's the whole package. Just like you imagine the guy is tall, handsome, all of that, but like he, he farts in front of you, right? This is not attractive. Or he has poor charisma. You see, you lose attraction for him because part of what makes a man attractive is his body language, his charisma, and all of that. And a man who is successful had to work on that, right? He had to work on that to be able to convince clients and all of that. So you see, and you need to work on your charisma as well. You need to work on your soft skills as well because he's going to judge you on that. You see, people who work on their soft skills, they understand that this is how you win the game. This is why you need to work on that because this is how you're going to make yourself more attractive because you are attracted by people who have insane charisma. And you need to know that charisma is not something that you have like that naturally. Yes, maybe there are some things that you do naturally that are part of, you know, someone who has great charisma, but the rest of it is like learned. And, and just like with any skill, you can learn whatever you want. And, and also the reason why I want you to work on your soft skills and develop insane charisma is that it will be easier for you to spot who works on himself or who doesn't. And this is something that I love doing. Like every time I meet someone new, I check if they know the codes like they you have a few things actually to do when you interact with someone and you want to make them feel important and all of that and i love that like when i'm with someone that i just met i love paying attention to their charisma to to their body language because you have specific things to to do to convey confidence and all of that so yeah this is something that i want you to work on so that it's easier for you and faster for you to vet men who are working on themselves and men who aren't of course like you can work on your soft skills and don't work on the rest but I still think that someone who works on his soft skills and who understands the importance of soft skills is someone that is worth getting to know. Another reason why you need to work on your charisma is because we decide very quickly who belongs to our group and who doesn't, and we all do that. So if you want to join that group that is like, you know, level up and all of that, you need to master this because the people who are at the top of the game, they master this. Basically what they think is like, if you took the time to educate yourself on your soft skills and all of that, then you are good at other things as well. It's how they think. This is like subconsciously, but this is the, the thought pattern that they have basically. You need to know that we decide quickly what we think of the other person, even, even if it's not like accurate and over time we are proven wrong. But yeah, this is what happens in our mind. Like keep in mind that our brain is wired for survival because our brain is wired for survival because of biology. Like, because back in the days we were in danger and all of that, we have system one and system two. So system one is fast thinking and it's like basically you when you are on autopilot mode. You see, so you take decision fast and all of that. And system two is when you step back and you tell yourself, like you analyze things, you watch on paper and all of that. This is system two. And most of the time we are under system one. It's very rare for people to think, okay, I spent two I was with Sarah. So what do I think of her? Okay, this and then this. No, we don't do that. Okay. We decide quickly. I know that it sounds unfair, but I want you to use this to your advantage. So it means that if you only have a few seconds to make a good impression, you can quickly win people over by doing a few things, right? To win points. So what you need to keep in mind is like you communicate all the time. Okay. You communicate verbally, non-verbally and all of that. And we believe 50% of what you say with your words, but we believe 100% of what you say with your body language. So all you have to do is work on your body language and learn how to display confidence. And this is something that we work on in my group coaching program, obviously, because it's for women who struggle with being perceived as the prize when they deal with men they really, really like. And 
if you want to be perceived as the prize and all of that you need to work on your body language as well so yeah you have modules on that as well when you join the program and this is extremely important like we work on many layers of femininity your body language is part of that like your communication skills are part of femininity and you need to make sure that you display a feminine body language because i've known women who work in a very masculine field and they became men right with their body language you feel like you are dealing with a man and i want you to, to be aware of that for yourself and the reason for that is that they think yeah if i'm feminine and all of that no one will take me seriously and it's also because they are surrounded by so many men that they become men themselves this is one thing that i wanted to share so yeah when you join the group coaching program we correct that we make sure you display insane amount of charisma by remaining a woman without anyone crossing your boundaries okay so if you are an empowered woman but you still struggle getting commitment with men you really really like i invite you to book a free discovery call with me if you feel like with the men that you really like you have anxious attachment you have a lot of stress seeing them is hard getting commitment is hard like you don't struggle at all with men you don't like too much like you don't have anxious attachment at all but with the men that you really like there is a lot of stress and that stress is abnormal okay i want you to understand that this is abnormal i aren't supposed to feel stressed when you're dead okay that stress that you feel is actually the stress that he's supposed to feel because when a man falls in love what he feels is stress falling for you generates stress for him because he's afraid of losing you he's afraid of doing the wrong thing and all of that so he feels stressed and he's constantly thinking about you because he's stimulated you see but right now when you have anxious attachment with the man that you like you are the one feeling like that you're constantly thinking about yeah what can i do for him to notice me what can i do for him to reach out again and all of that this is anxious attachment dating as a feminine woman should generate no stress at all the only thing you should expect when you date as a feminine woman is softness and precise treatment don't forget to leave a comment if you want to win my book this week if you need to book a free call with me to see if the program is for you check the link in my description box i'll see you next time bye bye